This is the BlackBerry Playbook, a 7-inch tablet that competes with the Apple iPad and others in the hotly contested tablets market. The lab have just sent it back to us after their full and comprehensive testing, and we've got results of it and a full review on our website. But now we're going to talk about a few of the highlights. In the hands, it feels very, very nice indeed. It's solid, very well built. On the back, we've got this rubberized uh, surface, which not only feels nice, but actually gives you a good grip as well when you're holding the tablet. Um, back to the front, there are no protruding buttons. Everything looks nice and smooth. And the user interface is, is very nice indeed. Um, flicking between windows is slick, quick. The touchscreen feels responsive. Uh, everything feels quite easy to find. It's a very nice user interface. And it's quite similar to the HP touchpad. Now, screen quality is something that our lab really goes to town with. They examine the angle of view, horizontal and vertical. And they also look at color fidelity and the level of detail that exists in each screen. Um, and that's an area that the BlackBerry Playbook does really well in, uh, along with the angle of view. So it does very well when you point the, the tablet upwards and to the side. You can really see the screen from different angles. So overall, it's a very nice screen indeed. The lab also goes through a raft of power consumption battery life tests. And this is an area that the BlackBerry Playbook does pretty well in. It's not up to the standards of, um, say, an Apple iPad, but you can certainly get through a day's worth of moderate use. So far, so good then, but there are a couple of downsides to be aware of. Now, the Apple iPad and many of the Android tablets we've looked at have got full access to a wide range of apps. This one's a bit different, unfortunately. The range of apps is very limited, so you won't be able to find um, a BBC iPlayer app or a Sky News app, for example. And that's a bit disappointing, especially for you know a nice uh, tablet like this. Um, also, to get access to your BlackBerry email, to your BlackBerry contacts, and indeed to access the internet through a 3G connection, you'll have to pair this tablet with your BlackBerry smartphone. And although you can do that if you have a BlackBerry smartphone, it does add a little bit to the, the um, inconvenience. So all in all, um, a pretty nice tablet with um, a couple of uh, downsides to consider before you buy. So to see the complete results for this tablet and full test results of the most popular tablets in the market, have a look at which.co.uk forward slash tablets.